Have you heard about Alexander Fleming? He won the Nobel Prize in Medicine for his contribution to the development of the first antibiotic, penicillin. This revolutionary compound alone has saved millions of lives since. Now, back then, if you had a patient with a suspected bacterial infection, you gave him the antibiotic and without really needing to know anything else about the bacteria causing the disease, most of the patients recovered. Antibiotics have contributed tremendously to our life expectancy, and a few decades ago, the notion was we'll solve bacterial infections. Uh, it turns out we were wrong. With our extensive views of antibiotics, we are selecting the bacteria that can survive our pharmacological treatments. Today, we are threatened by so-called superbugs, and in a recent study, it was estimated that by 2050, 10 million people could die every year from multidrug-resistant infection. Helicobacter pylori is one of these tiny monsters out there. Epidemiological studies show that Helicobacter has colonized the stomach of at least half of the world population, causing sometimes mild disorders that can result in peptic ulcer and gastric cancer. When a patient tests positive for Helicobacter, Medical guidelines suggest a combination of three antibiotics that can be implemented with a fourth when the first approach shows inefficacy. And this happens more and more often since Helicobacter evolves rapidly, developing resistance to the common antibiotics used. One of the innovative solutions to this huge problem is represented by small RNA-like molecules called PNAs, or peptide nucleic acids. These compounds can work efficiently and extremely narrowly against pathogens such as Helicobacter. But how, you may ask? Well, it's easy. <laughs> you uh, study the biology of the pathogen and then design PNA to target essential systems of the bacterium and silence it, which means that we could be able to block the expression of genes that are vital for the pathogen and hence kill it. The identification of bacterial targets is so accurate that makes PNA a precise weapon against specific bacterial species. And we have good news. We may have found the right target, the switch of Helicobacter pylori. With this biotechnology, we can easily design and adapt PNAs to target any kind of pathogens that are becoming more and more immune to our current therapies. Thank you.